How is it you can build the nicest biplane in the world, but you can't eat in a car without making a damn mess? You know, you're worse than Logan. Mm-hmm. Give me another napkin. I'm running out of napkins, bud. <laughs> there. Now it's recording. Mm -hmm. We'll figure this thing there out. You, you still look great. Look at the white. Yeah. You can tell I've been painting in my math league. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why you look so white. No, no, no. no. Look at that hair. Mm hmm. So you took off the other night, but there's lots of news. Mm -hmm. So we flew the 150. Mm -hmm. It flies pretty good. Mm -hmm. It was terribly windy. We found out one thing I'm a rusty pilot. Yeah. And I porpoised it down the runway twice. <laughs> twice, Don. Mm -hmm. And I knew better than it. I don't know why. I said, I got to get out there and beat the pattern up. Yep. And, but uh, the engine runs fantastic. She yep. handles real good. So we're all good there. We're going to probably be uh, making some trips here soon in it. Good. Um, good. Still tinkering on the pacer sitting over here. Mm -hmm. You see one of the panels there. Mm -hmm. And dealing with this on rail cuss. I'm talking about uh, C 46 is flying into Kansas City. Mm -hmm. And you said uh, Xantop. Mm -hmm. So they weren't based out of there, but they would no. come in and out of there yep. so you could watch them come and go. Yeah, they're over, over on the east, east, the furthest, work, furthest wind that way. Yeah. And that, that was freight, freight, freight. Now, uh, TW, TWA flew freight. In over there too, in their airplanes. Oh really? Yeah, and, and over on the the uh, west, what would that be? The east side. Downtown Kansas City. Well, look at all the construction up here. Yeah. So I'm going over too far here. So there's Fairfax. Mm -hmm. That's the old airport there. Yeah. Where you can see bits and pieces of the runway sticking outside mm -hmm. of the GM plant. And all we gotta do is come down here across the river. And there's your, there's your okay. airport right there. Right. Mm. So this office right in this very corner, Hangar 1. Yep, that was it. Charles Wheeler, mm -hmm. where the TWA Museum is yep. at. That was... That was a hangar, too. That was a hangar, too? We mm -hmm. couldn't have put anything big in there because it's not a big hangar. Oh, yeah. We'd put constellations in there. No, the nose of it, maybe. No. Um, so here's the... Uh, uh, Downtown terminal. Yep. And that, okay. Yeah. Look, there's a tens on the ramp. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's scroll out, and you point to me here where it was that you guys worked out of. Because, see, here's where the airline history museum is. You can see the L ten eleven out on the tarmac over here mm -hmm. on the left. You come up from it. There's just a bunch of covered, mm -hmm. and then Atlantis is like right in here somewhere. Where the, where the DC three was. Uh huh. That's that was that was TWA had at least. And we worked in there on all, all kinds of airplanes. So was there buildings in here that changed over the years? No, uh, no, no. There was a lot of freight freighters over there. And when they were, when they were hauling all, all everything by mail, all the Beach 18s. Yeah. And damn, there was about, it was about. So it was a bunch of mail Beach 18s oh, coming absolutely, in. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I guess that was really the main airport at the time. We're talking mm -hmm. about MKC out mm -hmm. of Kansas yep. City. Yep. It's downtown there by the mm -hmm. uh, the river. We're going to show you. Mm -hmm. It's set right next door to Fairfax Airport, which a lot of people learn how to fly there. Plus, there were bombers that come in and out of Fairfax. What was that there? Was it the B-25s? The B-25s, B yeah, they were built built over there at Fairfax. Yeah, Luscombe was in Kansas City. There's tons yep. of history there. Yep. We have an airline history museum that is currently locked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody can go in there. There's two aircraft in there in particular that me and you put a lot of time on, especially you. You've got 10 times the amount of time in there as me. Mm -hmm. um, the DC-3 that was there, I didn't know what I was doing, so I polished. Don, however, tried to get that old dude airworthy. And uh, when they changed bosses up there, they decided to do other things with money. Yeah, and, and the fucking <laughs> yeah. big, big Bertha. So the money that was supposed to go to our engines on the DC-3 went where? I, I really don't know what I think did. that's what they did, bought the L-1011 with, which they drug that dude in there. This is mm -hmm. about the time we all quit. Oh, yeah. And uh, we didn't really want it anyhow. Mm -hmm. None of us volunteers wanted that. And then uh, next thing you know, they're jerking engines off of it. There were no engines. 
spot. Well, and it's it sitting out there looking like a piece yeah. of junk on the tarmac well, it was, with it, no engines. There was no engines. And they, they, they couldn't fly. They, they flew it in there and then started taking the airplane. Yeah, they it. started like parting it out on the tarmac. Well, and they're was, like, here's your museum piece. Yeah. It still has seats in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure some money that was supposed to go in the engines on the DC-3, the two big radials, ended mm -hmm. up in that. Which, there were engines on the DC-3. Mm -hmm. They were not airworthy at that time. They needed no. redone. And Well, we had, one, we had one, the left engine, we had it on the airplane, and it was almost ready to run. Really? And mm -hmm. it would have been airworthy? Mm -hmm. Well, there was only... So we only needed one engine one then? Engine. Mm -hmm. they, had, they had the engines... But uh, the, the SPD needed it, so they took it off. SPD, silent but deadly? Yep. No, we're talking about a dive bomber, ain't we? Mm -hmm. Yep, the same thing. Dauntless? Mm-hmm, Dauntless. And, uh, Whose was it? Because we didn't have we, a Dauntless well, no, down there. We, had, we already had already, we took the, air, the engine down to o Oklahoma. Oh, right. And so you get a, those like radials they, unlimited or something they down did, there. They did did it apart, did it, and, and it ended up on somebody else's airplane. No, no, it, it didn't didn't then. And the second engine was down there. Oh, okay, this is making sense. And it was it came in the same time, same. Time. I guess I wasn't privy to that. Yeah. I was just the guy polishing. Of course, I was a kid back then. Well, you did a good job of it. Well, it's looking good in a locked up <laughs> hangar now. Yeah. It's probably doing nothing but collecting dust. You recording? Yep. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. So about a month ago, maybe a touch more, we discovered that it was pressurizing the cooling system. Doesn't sound like too big of a deal, and it wasn't in the beginning. It was much cooler, and uh, it seemed to be running just fine. and wasn't mixing fluids. But it didn't take long, and... Uh, it started blowing fluid out, and then as the temperatures got warmer, it wasn't uh, able to keep the fluid in. So uh, there was a couple things we did. We checked the compressor to see if it was pressurizing my cooling system. We checked to see if anything else was possibly doing it, and we couldn't find a source of any other pressurization. So it had to be in the head in, uh, or a liner. Well, the liners checked out okay. But we found, how many is it, like six cracks in that head, haven't we? Yeah. So, uh, so we got the head off. You can see it over there. 